Yeah. Now, a little birdie told me that you have a song with Yemiela Day, yeah. which you are promoting now. Mm -hmm. So tell us about that song. Tell us about how that collab came out. Because, I mean, Yemi is a well-established artist, mm -hmm. right? In comparison to you, mm -hmm. right? So how did that collab come about? How did you finally settle on Yemi as, you know, the one you're going to put on that song? Well, right from when I was a child. Should I say child? Not, not child, child. <laughs> okay, I had sent, um, I sent Yemi a message in 2016. Okay, it's about a six years ago. ago. Yeah, I sent her a message in 2016 and I said, I love you so much and I can't wait to see you and I want to work with you. You know there is some resemblance, you get that? Have yes, you that? yes. And she replied me in 2022. Wow, <laughs> it took six years. Wow. Yes. Okay. It took six years. And she said, Hi, little sis. <laughs> Hi, little sis. Uh, because when I sent that message, I said, People tell me we look, uh, we look alike. And so she just replied me and said, Hi, little sis. Yeah, we actually look alike, and I can't wait to see you. And she sent me her address to okay. you know, come see her. And when I got to the studio, I just, you know, she was in the studio when I met her. and. The, the producer was there and then he just started playing beats and you know we just did it it didn't even take time it was about four hours how was that experience like for you it was amazing because you know this person that you sent message like years ago mm -hmm. she really inspires me mm -hmm. and she's super hard working and you know you're seeing this person now face to face and she's acting like a big sis to you mm. she's that nice and she's like, don't worry, get your, make yourself comfortable. Nice. Not just make yourself comfortable. There are some people that will tell you, make yourself comfortable. You know they don't mean want it. want you to be comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see that she actually genuinely wants you to mm. be comfortable and yeah. see her as a big sister. And since then, it's not just music. She calls me sometimes. She texts me sometimes. Nice. Are you okay and stuff? Nice. Yeah, so she's actually a nice person. Then the, the creation was just, you know, amazing. That's that's really good to know, and and I know that this song will also blow up and make Definitely. make waves just as your yeah. So other the, the song the, the song is titled I swear, um, from my up, um upcoming EP, okay. forthcoming EP sorry, okay. um so it's dropping on the twenty first of this month, which is like next week Friday, uh -huh. and then the EP is dropping on the fourth. Okay, yeah. well I can't wait to listen. I love to listen to um, new songs and all of that. So mm, this one, I'm this, this to one, to this that. one is uh, it's titled the EP is titled Purple Diary. Okay. Okay, for the yeah. love of purple, right? Not just for the love of purple. So purple represents Gucci. Okay. Most times when people see purple, they say you look like Gucci. When mm. they see you wear purple, or they say you act like Gucci because you're just wearing purple. Okay. So now purple represents Gucci, and then the diary is what my life is, is about. Is about. 